What's up y'all, it's your girl saying, and today we're gonna be looking at an article about the Satanic Temple. And as you guys can see right here, it says the Satanic Temple announces launch of clinic to provide religious abortions in New Mexico. Now, if you are like me, you know there's nothing religious about an abortion, but hey, we're talking about the Satanic Temple, so we know why they doing it. We know why, and you see the little, the statue of Bahamut. We talked about this recently on my um on my live stream, which you guys can check every Monday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. EST if you want to come through and hang out. But we weren't talking about this article specifically. We were talking about the statue and stuff, and we were talking about um Satanism as a whole for like a good maybe like five or ten minutes. I don't know how we got onto that subject, but we were talking about it for like five or ten minutes before jumping over. But y'all gotta come through to the live streams to come kick it so y'all can be part of these conversations. So it says, choose your side. The Satanic Temple joined Democrats in their battle against the Supreme Court's 2022 ruling on Roe v. Wade. That tells you all you need to know if you are a Christian on what side of the fence you need to be on, because it's definitely not this side. The Satanic Temple released a statement following the ruling on their plans to fight in court for the right to religious abortion. So as you can see, they have their tweet right here. It says the body is inviolable, subject to one's own will alone. And they have, oh, they actually have something right here that breaks it down. So it says, religious reproductive rights. The news that Roe v. Wade will likely be overturned, I apologize for that, is extremely distressing. The Satanic Temple has nevertheless positioned itself to protect religious abortion access for our members. In states that continue to provide abortion services, we will continue to take steps, including legal action, to ensure our members do not have to endure hindrances to immediate access. That includes waiting periods and unnecessary medical procedures. In addition, we will continue to demand that states do not require medical practitioners to withhold medical information or that patients are not forced to bury or cremate fetal remains. Lastly, in states that require mandatory abortion counseling documents, we are providing our own counseling, which we are demanding to be recognized by states as a valid alternative. In states that outlaw abortion, but grant exceptions for instances of, of incest and ARP, then consistent with the Supreme Court's ruling in Fulton versus City of Philadelphia, the Satanic Temple members should be permitted a religious exemption to perform Satanic Temple's religious abortion ritual. Hmm? We will likely have to sue those states to affirm our civil rights, but the law is clearly on our side. You can read about our current lawsuits here. States that outlaw abortion and do not grant exceptions present more significant challenges but the Satanic Temple has a number of plans that we will be undertaking quite soon. First, we will be suing the FDA to permit the Satanic Temple access to mifepristone and misoprostol for use under medical supervision as part of our religious abortion ritual. This request is being made under federal RFRA. Unfettered access to these drugs would be a considerable step toward enabling the Satanic Temple to perform our abortion ritual without government interference. Again, the law is clearly on our side, but we are gearing up for a legal battle. Lastly, the Satanic Temple is researching the possibility of creating religious abortion facilities. We will provide more information about this plan as it develops, and if you are interested in volunteering, yada, yada, yada. And this is from May 5th, 2022, which we've talked about this before on my channel. I think back in October is the last time we talked about this where they were talking about doing lawsuits against states and stuff. But once again... Once again, if you are a Christian, this shows you what side of the fence you should be playing on. Because there are Christians out there that do stand for pro-choice and all that, and you shouldn't be. Because now you're standing on the side with the satanic temple, if that's what you're trying to do. You shouldn't even be on that side. And they said they're standing with the Democrats, too. That lets you more, more so lets you know what side of the fence you should be playing on, and it's not that side. Just putting that out there, but... The Satanists believe abortion is a religious sacrament. On Wednesday, the Satanic Temple announced they will open a religious medical services clinic in New Mexico. The clinic will provide free religious medication, abortion care to women in the state. So it says the Satanic Temple announces the launch of its first reproductive health clinic, which will provide free religious medication, abortion care in New Mexico. The Satanic Temple Health, the Satanic Temple's religious medical services arm, will provide telehealth screenings and appointments and prescribe abortion medication for its patients. According to the Satanic Temple, 
Health's website, anyone in New Mexico seeking to perform the Satanic Temple's abortion ritual will be able to receive free online medical services. Patients undergo a confidential screening and virtual appointment before having their prescriptions sent to the clinic's pharmacy partner who will mail the medications in a discreet package. The pharmacy fees will fall around $90 in order to keep prices at a minimum. The Satanic Temple Health's licensed medical staff will be available for patient questions and concerns and will initiate follow-up communications with patients. In addition, the clinic has a dedicated patient hotline that is on call 24-7. The Satanic Temple hopes to expand operations into other states, including those that do not allow clin clinicians to perform abortions. The Satanic Temple is proud to expand reproductive options for our members. This is just the beginning, says Aaron Hellion, Executive Director of Campaigns. We will remain steadfast as we continue the fight to uphold reproductive justice in the United States. The Satanic Temple has argued in its lawsuits against Texas that under the First Amendment and federal and state religious freedom restoration acts, its abortion ritual is exempt from restrictions and bans because the procedure is an essential part of religious practice. You see, they're going against Texas because we did talk about this in, I believe, episode three of Church Sundays, where Texas, ever since Roe v. Wade, they noticed an immediate 99% drop in abortions and fall off because they stopped it there. The only things that had happened in that time span has been three, and they prefer for medical exemptions only. Other than that, people just looking at abortion as like the first step to birth control. 99% drop. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? It's funny because we all have said that. We're just like 99% of abortions are not for medical exemptions, incest, or ARP. They just aren't. That's actually, it's under 1% that all of that falls under. And of course, the crowd that fights for it. No, it's not. There's no way you're making those numbers up. Texas put their study up and they were just like, yeah, guess what? It was a 99% drop once we cut all that nonsense out. Good for you, Texas. Good for you. I hope, I hope they never win I, their lawsuit in Texas or anywhere else. Because all of this, all of this is crazy. It says the Satanic Temple Health has named the facility the Samuel Alito's Mom's Satanic Abortion Clinic. In 1950, Samuel Alito's mother did not have options, and look what happened, said Malcolm Jerry, the co-founder of the Satanic Temple. Prior to 1973, doctors who performed abortions could lose their licenses and go to jail. The clinic's name serves to remind people just how important it is to have the right to control one's body and the potential ramifications of losing that right. And then for more information, yada, yada, yada. We don't need more information, because over here, we don't practice stuff like that. Um, crazy story. We already see what the agenda is. We see what they're trying to do. We see where they're trying to move the line. All I'm saying is if you Christian, you know what side you should be on. Off rip. But uh, <laughs> let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never see when I drop a video. And until next time, you already know who it is. It's Sang. <laughs>